Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your connection is not private and you're coming across a net error certificate common name invalid error on your Google Chrome web browser. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So the first thing I'd recommend doing would be to open up the Chrome browser if it's not already open. And go ahead and select the three dotted icon at the top right, wherever you left click on it. You should see additional options that appear up down below. Select more tools and then select clear browsing data. You want to set time range to all time. You can uncheck browsing history, but you want to keep cookies and other site data as well as cached images and files checkmarked. And then select clear data. Once that's done, close out of here, restart your computer and see if that has resolved the problem. If that has not resolved the problem, there are other things that we can try here, which would include opening up the star menu, type in network reset. Best result should come back with network reset. Go ahead and just left click on that one time to open it up. So before you reset your Wi-Fi, please make sure you have it written down somewhere, your Wi-Fi key, so that when you restart your computer, you can input it back in. And also make sure you save and close out of any open programs or applications before you restart, because it's going to automatically sign you out within five minutes of selecting reset now. Once you've done both of those things, go ahead and select the reset now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Go ahead and select yes. And now you will be signed out within five minutes, but we're going to go ahead and just reset our computer manually here. And there you go guys, simple as that. So you can set up your sharing settings as well if you're sharing different printers and files and whatnot. But that was pretty much it guys. Do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.